In this video, we're going over the installation of the Tusk Sub-Zero plow mount on the Honda Rancher 420. Having the proper tools and some assistance will make this job a lot easier. For this video, we've stood the machine on end so you can better see the installation process. You need to safely support your machine in order to gain access to the undercarriage for installation. Part 1 of this video is removal of the stock plastic skid plate. There's 12 bolts that hold this on, so we'll go ahead and remove each of those using a 10mm T-handle and a 10mm wrench. You want to keep all this hardware with the skid plate, so when it comes time to put the skid plate back on, you'll have all the pieces. So after you've removed all that hardware, you should be able to just pull that skid plate from the machine. Once you've done that, you're going to want to reinstall the two top bolts to hold that front plastic bumper piece on. Just go ahead and snug bolt those bolts down. And then we can move on to installing the plow mount. I like to get an idea where my clamps are going to sit on the frame rails. And to do that, you want to hold the plow mount up against the frame in the correct location. And that'll give you an idea of where your clamps are going to sit. These are the locations for this machine. In your hardware kit, you'll notice that you receive two different styles of clamps. One set of regular clamps and one set of U-clamps that has an offset to one side. The regular clamps are going to be your front clamps, like you see here, and the offset clamps are going to sit towards the rear of the machine with the offset on the outside of the frame rail. So now it's a good time to have an extra set of hands, so I'm going to help you hold that plow mount up into place while you start a few threads on each of the mounting bolts. So we're first going to install the bolts into the top U-clamps, and then you'll notice that with your hardware kit, you receive two different lengths of bolts. Two longer ones and six shorter ones. The two longer ones are going to be used for the outboard holes and the offset clamps. And the six shorter bolts will obviously be used for the six remaining mounting holes. Once you've got a few threads on each of the bolts started, go ahead and make sure the plow mount's sitting straight on the frame rails. If it is, we can go ahead and tighten up the mounting bolts. You want to make sure and tighten these bolts evenly so the clamps are pulled straight towards the plow mount. And once they're all snugged up, you're done with the install. For more information on the Tusk Sub-Zero ATV Snowplow System, visit our website www.rockymountainatvmc.com. Thanks for watching.